Is bleed like a bad word to use? Hey guys, it's your girl Renails. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do a gradient nail art tutorial. I really like this nail technique. It's something that's fun using two different colors that blend together. You've probably seen the trend of ombre on clothes and on shoes and now it's crossing over into hair. You've seen a lot of celebrities, I'm sure, with the dark to light look on their hair. I'm wearing something similar, but it's using blue, so my hair goes from black to blue, which I really like. It's just something fun. And now this is crossing over also into the nail world, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get that look. Here's what I'm using. A base coat, China Glaze White on White, Essie Mint Candy Apple, Orally Skinny Dip, China Glaze Fairy Dust, a top coat, some makeup sponges, and a brush to clean up. Start with a base coat so your whole manicure will last longer. Apply a couple coats of white polish first. You'll be using very thin coats of the other colors for the gradient design, and the white base will help them really pop. The white doesn't need to be perfect. Just make sure you cover the entire surface all the way to your cuticle. Time for the actual design. First, cut your makeup sponges in half so they're about the width of your finger. Those makeup sponges are just from CVS, so cut them in half and dab that polish on. Once the sponges are cut down, take your two polish colors and paint the end of the sponge. Put the polish for the bottom of your nail at the tip of the sponge and paint the other one just above it. Dab the sponge onto your nail. If you don't get all the color you want the first time, apply more color to your sponge and go back over it again. Obviously, this is not an exact design. You can apply more color wherever you want it. And don't be afraid of the mess the sponge makes around your nail. We'll go back in at the end and clean everything up. Okay, that's our first nail. Time for the rest. You'll want to use a fresh sponge for each nail. The polish absorbs into the sponges and dries pretty quickly and then starts to flake. You definitely don't want to end up with sponge flakes on your nails. The sponge technique is the bomb.com because it just gives you more control of where you're going to apply the polish and it dries way faster. You can really do a thick layer of polish on the sponge. It absorbs so fast so all the polish you put on the sponge won't end up on your nail. The color there came out really light, so I'm going to go back over it one more time. You'll want to work up from the base of your finger. The darker color should be towards the top. Gradients are super awesome because it's easy to fix mistakes and hide flaws. There's a lot more surface area on your thumb, so you can add thicker stripes on the sponge. Once the design is on all your fingers, you can keep as is and apply your top coat. Before I do that, I'm going to use a layer of glitter polish for an extra pop of color. While you're putting on the glitter layer, apply a little extra pressure to your brush. It will help blend the colors and really even out any imperfections in the gradient. So just add your top coat as you normally would. Here's the finished product of my gradient nails. I think they kind of look like the ocean or swimming pool, but they're really fun. They're perfect for summer and warmer temperatures. So go ahead and give it a try. Try out different colors. Let me know how it works for you and make sure that you subscribe to You Look Hot for more nails and like the video.